boring dude, normal dude, straight dude, insane dude. No. Um, I meant to go for my second opinion right now, Rick. And I've woken up and I've got a headache and I'm going to ring up soon and say I'd like to reschedule that second opinion. But as Tina said, it's not really a second opinion. Six doctors already have got it wrong. And when she, I asked for a second opinion, she goes, oh, you already had plenty of opinions. Because it's the same office, the same building, the same industry. So I believe anyway, my gut feeling, the second opinion, it's going to be going off paper like, why are you posting on YouTube for? Why are you doing this for? Like, why are you telling me about things when I should be talking to you about things but anyway this depot I've been in bed uh, catching zeds gonna go on the disability pension because you guys have made me and see if I can get the disability pension abroad and go somewhere like Thailand to the Philippines and just live there for a while off the pension because it's cheap enough to do it because I'm on depot I'm smacked up doped up mine's gone I don't have my free thoughts don't have any like brainstorming I have no storming no storming but can you vent this guy's under venting this sucks that I can't go like and say this and that and like my acting skills aren't that good and you just go and write it down and say YouTube's my fault why are you posting on YouTube? He looks unwell, he looks this, he looks that, and he's saying all this. Well, it's none of your business, it's my channel. Everyone else amateur has their own channel. And their own message they get out there. And not everyone's going to agree with my message. Peace, man. <sighs> wow. That's one message. Love, ooh. Respect, ooh. One colour, ooh. That's right, I'm psychotic, because I pull cameras out on you. I went stupid. Because I was on drugs, and so drug users are now targeting mental health. So whenever you're on drugs, they can target you with mental health and say, you're manic when drugs make you talk fast. But this is venting, remember? I'm not allowed to post anymore, and I've made that many vid much videos for you guys. I've made, I turn it up, six doctors turn it up, I made that many more I haven't posted. Injections of crap goes to part 30. And venting is a new one. This should be part 10, maybe. Ooh. That's right, because he's been depoted up last Tuesday and he showed that that was the last video he's filmed since... been in bed ever since last Tuesday. Injection. Wake up at 3, 4 in the afternoon, sometimes 7. Just walk around, do a couple of things, and then go back to bed. Exciting. They stopped me from having my phone. Can't even get my zest. No energy. But you can't make diaries. You can't make blogs. Because they might see this like line here and they might see this distinguish here and they call me psychotic because they've judged me. And because of my beard, probably. Or my long hair. Or my lack of moisturising cream. What do you do, Basil? A short and sweet video. Fuck venting. I'm allowed to vent should be allowed to post, it's called freedom of will, freedom of speech. Sorry that you got the power to inject me, judge me, inject me, dope me up, have no say, and no one's going to get a second opinion, it's more like a seventh opinion. And no offence to this guy, because he might be alright, and I might have to cross paths with him, and I will, and just say, yo, stop talking about the things I've done out of the file, if you're coming from a person standpoint and a heart, and talk to me how I feel. And let me talk, so it'll be like, I want to get off the depot. Natural healing. Stopping my talents. What are your talents? Or a lot of things. Do you know what I mean? Not you ask me questions about the file. And then just keep writing on about the YouTube this. Psychotic that. Manic that. Psychosis. <laughs> it's a joke, what I'm going through. But I guess a strong minded person that's getting a bit of weight gain from s stupid medication that's been forced upon you or you get locked up that's right folks because if I don't go see these guys every Tuesday they call the police 
and so that I'm mentally unwell and the police come and arrest me. Take me to the hospital and then they drug me up again and then they send me out and it could happen every two weeks if I don't see them. What as I chose that path, just not come see you ever again and every two weeks you just have to keep taking me to the hospital or get injected and let me out. You're going to exert me again, try me another drug. Just let me out and I'll never see you again. It'll keep you a revolving door. Cops, hospital, out. No doctors, cops, hospital, out. No doctors, cops, hospital, out. Do you know what I mean? I don't have to see doctors. Why do I am forced to see some person that doesn't like me, that's drugging me up, that doesn't listen, that goes off a pad that's been two months old, that I've lived a 29-year-old life, and they won't believe me at all. But they've written a pad for two months when they pull me out of flying on drugs when I was at my house. They wrote a report. Then they go off that and YouTube. How about no tube, none of your business? Go off nothing, but what I say to you, that's what a doctor should be doing. They're seeing how I feel, not fucking drugging me up and doping me up and having me have no life. Nah, you've got to have your control, because I'm a risk, I'm society, I'm a risk. Not a risk. Don't walk down the middle of the road anymore. And my mum's fine. If I have to pull a prank on her, I'll tell her I'm pranking now. Not let it go the whole way like I used to. Oh, shit. He's learnt. Venting. Oh, might have to release the venting parts. Because that's really... Venting. Am I allowed to vent? I mean, it's been a week since I made a video. I mean... I mean, I haven't even written, really, really written that many pages in the book anymore. The book's got that, much, uh, that big that I could release a novel of called Human Rights, That's Mental, and a journal after the second time out, but he's been there three times, of a daily occurrence of getting watched, getting medicated, having his rights crushed, not listened to, how he's feeling, his emotions, the whole thing. That's right, they're always right. Because I'm wrong. I haven't studied. I'm sorry, folks, I didn't study. So, this psychiatrist, psychiatrist, and all of them, this Rick guy might be good. And hopefully, we cross paths. It's not today, I've got a headache, I'm working up. And I thought I'd do a video diary to put out there to say, hey, what's up? Not psychotic. Not manic. Fine, but not really fine. Just doped up, having had no life, wanting my life back. And I just no one listens. And I think the same building, the same people. I guess you're just going out for a file. I have a gut feeling. So my headache, I could pull through it. I've taken some Panadol, but the Panadol hasn't worked yet. We'll see what happens. This video is going a bit too long. How about? Fuck you. Who to? They're the ones that I say fuck you to. All of you.